Hi guys, welcome. This is Glenn Martin. I'm from Harristown. We're running the DD Volleyball Schools Cup next week. I'm here to run you through a whole bunch of information um, in place of a pre-tournament meeting. So coaches, please pass this on to your players before the competition so that they can watch it as many times as they want to or need to before the event. I've got a list of things here that I'm going to go through. I'm going to try and run through it quickly, but you'll have a chance to go back and watch as much as you want. So firstly, the structure and timing. This competition is not a normal volleyball competition. So normally it'll take, you know, best of three or five sets and it'll take a number of days. We are doing one set matches, the same as we've done for the last few years. Those sets are going to be to 35 points. I think I might have accidentally told staff in one email before 40 points, but it's 35 points, all 40 minutes, whichever comes first. Must win by two. Um, and the time slots are a 40 minute match and then a five minute warm up. So the, the slots throughout the day, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, run by a central clock. There'll be a staff member to oversee and, and get that clock working and whatnot. Um, now, something else super important that you need to know is that matches are played to 35 points, but for the pools, the pool matches in the start of the day, their points ratio is how you will be ranked. So it's not wins and losses, it's points ratio only for your pool matches, which means every single point counts. All right, if you're um, there's an example in the rules over here, which I'll talk about in a second, where you could lose all matches and still finish ahead of a team who wins a match or wins two matches even, um, but only does so by a little bit and then rarely loses the next one by a lot. So every point counts in those pool matches to go towards your rankings. We do have some alternate rules. So if you come across over here, these have been sent to your school and uh, staff can make available a copy to you. Um, unlimited substitutions. You can sub as much as you want with whoever you want. So volleyball has some really technical substitution rules. Those are out the window for this. If you've got 10 players and only 35 points per set, um, we've freed it up so that you can just pull players on and off the court. All right, so um, that will need to be noted on the score sheet. So we'd still put in our normal players in a rotation here like I've done, and I'll get to that in a second. And it's, uh, you can just fill in the substitutions down here and we'll talk about that shortly. The ball is allowed to hit the roof. As long as it stays on your side of the net, you can play on. All right, so if it hits the roof, if someone gets a grade up and it goes up and hits the roof, play on as long as it stays on your side of the net. Liberos can serve if they wish and Liberos can attack from the backcourt should you choose to use a Libero. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Um, now, because it's one set matches, if you win the toss... You can choose to either serve or you can choose the side of the court because with one set, we're not changing sides, all right? So you just choose which side you want. Okay, if you want a certain side, then don't choose to serve. Choose to pick the side and then the other team will serve and they'll get the other side. All right, so that's something to be aware of with a one set match. We're not changing sides. Um, we've talked about the time slots here. Uh, if the scores are tied when the, 45 min or when the 40 minute timer goes off, golden point, all right? The next server in, in the rotation will serve, and whoever wins that point um, will get that extra point to go towards their points ratio. Um, Warm-up is three minutes of ball work, passing, rolling, whatever, uh, and then one minute of serving, one minute preparation, so no spiking in the warm-up, something to be aware of. Duties, uh, if we go here talking about duties, I'm going to endeavour to provide some Harristown kids to help with duties. Um, they'll be okay at duty, they're not experts, just like you're probably not, um, but they'll have a pretty good idea, um, and maybe more so than, than some of the kids who are going to be playing on the day. Uh, so that's hopefully some, some help for you. So the score sheets here, simplified, one set, okay, one set only, points tally really important, okay, so please make sure this section, just one point, two point, three points, is filled out correctly. This down here, the service rotation stuff, which is where it gets technical with the score sheet. If you know how to do it, great. Um, if you really struggle with that or have no idea what I'm talking about, then ignore that. Make sure the tallies are correct. Um, and then just make sure that the servers are running through in rotation and like number one, who's a great server, isn't just going back and going bang, bang, and then they lose the point and you're still serving. So we just need to make sure we're running through our servers. Um, and if we track our substitutions, so let's say number six, who's currently off the court. Here we don't need names, just numbers of your players. All right, so here I've got one to 10, just to make it simple, the captain is number seven. Um, you'll see six isn't on the court at the moment, but if six subs 
sub for two, we now see that one, six is the next server, three, four, seven. You know, if uh, 10 sub for nine, all right, we can see now two was on here. We can stick two on over there. Normally, you wouldn't be able to do that in volleyball, but we can do that now. Two is on the bench because six came on for them. So two is available to be used and they could go on into that position for this competition. All right, timeouts are available if you wish, two per set. But in the last five minutes, we just say no timeouts um, and only substitutions can be made. So that's in the, the rules which you can have a look at. Really important section, not so much the winner, um, although write it in anyway, but the score, super important, just make sure that's right. And the MVP section. So at the end of the day, we'll be naming an MVP for each division. So that, all you would need to say is, for example, Toowoomba State High School won the match. All right, and their number 72 was the best player we thought, okay? And then Harristown, the losing team, who was the best player on the losing team for two points, let's call it number four. Toowoomba State High School again, the next best player on the winning team, let's say it was number 17 there. All right, and that goes to our MVP tallies. We just sign our name here. Yep, I've completed the MVP section, so I'll give it a little squiggle, um, and we'll fill that score sheet out and tally up everything. Um, some of the other rules, we only require a skeleton duty team, so a first ref, second ref, and score bench. All right, so first and second refs, you're gonna be calling the lines, which means if we get a bad line call, so if you're playing and you're like, that was in, and the ref calls out, you accept that call, all right? For the spirit of the, the day is fun. Lots of amateur volleyball going on, people who don't know a whole heap about the game yet. And so we don't wanna give duty teams a rough time. As I said, some Harristown staff and students will be there to try and help you out. Um, MVP trophies will be awarded as well as medals for first to third. Uh, and then we'll see here, there's a bit explaining the points ratio there. So a team who loses, you know, narrowly can still finish ahead of a team who has a win but has some big losses. So every point counts. And there's some things here about um, first aid. So schools, please make sure the staff you bring are first aid qualified. We'll have a, um, a small first aid station ready to go, but um, primarily uh, if you can make sure your staff are first aid trained, that is helpful. Um, net heights are there. And just remember that you do have multiple commitments, so try and rotate your kids who are doing duty so others get a rest and, and that sort of thing. The draw has been released to your school, so check it out, have a look. Um, there will be a canteen available on both days. The school canteen's available for your use. They're a pretty good joint, so check it out. And Harristown are getting photos professionally done. They've got a deal throughout the year from uh, a guy in Brisbane, and he's gonna be coming up to shoot the day. If you're interested in that um, school staff, please just email me and I can give you his contact and, and if he has time amongst shooting Harristown kids, I'm sure he can try and shoot your kids as well. Um, so check that out uh, for photos because he does a, a good job. It's pretty tough to grab some action volleyball shots, but he does a good job of doing it. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I think I've covered everything here. We've talked about photos, we've talked about canteen. Fun, fun, fun for the day, even though there are winners and losers. Um, First aid, there'll be basic first aid provided. Dutying, take it easy. Skeleton duty teams, Harristown to help. Safety, something I haven't talked about, but obviously there's concrete walls around the gym, so try not to run into those. Um, things are padded and whatnot, but we need to be careful underneath the net as well. Please don't penetrate the net when you're hitting. Try and stay on your side of the court. Score sheets we've talked about, very basic. Rules we've gone through and have been distributed to schools and we've talked about a completely different structure of this tournament. Thank you very much and I'll see you on Wednesday and Thursday next week.